So yeah, it's tough when you're moving to an area to find an agent, right? Especially because you don't know anybody there. So how are you going to do that? And there's lots of ways to search for agents. I'm just going to speak to YouTube. So I'm Stacey Duffy. I'm your Denver Metro real estate resource. And a lot of agents do YouTube videos as a way to get clients and they optimize those videos and their channel and the search terms and the names moving to X, moving to a Parker, Centennial Aurora, whatever right? And there is an entire real estate business strategy around capturing YouTube leads. Um, I started you doing YouTube back in 2017. So my channel is not one of those types of channels, right? I do have a resource. I do have resources and driving tours and area overviews and things like that for people moving to the area. But I shot the channel as these are things that my clients ask me all the time that I figure if somebody has this question, a lot of people have this question. So I like to educate, I like to teach, I like to help, I like to guide. So this is a way for me to do that, to help other people because I was also in the position of I'm moving from another state to a place that I've never lived. Uh, crap, right? Because all of these things come up that you don't know. And that's where the moving videos are really helpful as far as, hey, tell me about the area. Um, I want to find somebody that's like me that tells me about the neighborhoods and all that kind of stuff, right? So that's great. That is, I mean, most agents are going to know about the areas. We're going to have areas that we specialize in, others that we sell and maybe not as often. Um, I don't like to claim to be an expert in all areas of Denver. I am not. I don't live in all of the areas of Denver. I don't sell a house every week in all the areas of Denver. Have I sold a house in all the areas of Denver? Yeah, just about. But I tell my clients, hey, this is not where I live and work and play every day. So if you want someone who knows the area extremely intimately, this little section in neck of the woods, let me refer you to an agent that does. So I met with a client the other day that I said, hey, I know you're selling here and buying here. I know the area that you're buying. I don't know it as well as I know the area that you're selling because the area that you're selling, that's my neck of the woods. That's where I am all the time. That is my little niche and expertise, okay? In my section of the Metro. But on the buying side, I have another amazing agent that I work with all the time that I think might be a better fit for you because she knows that area better and she can get there faster because that area of town is an hour for me, depending on traffic, 45 minutes to an hour. So yes, I sell over there. And yes, I have clients that ask me specifically to work over there and I know it well enough that I am comfortable helping them and guiding them and giving them adequate value. Um, but maybe she might better be, be a better fit for you depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for that niche area of expertise, then yeah, she's gonna be a better fit. If you're looking for someone who can give you more information about the property, about the condition, about the technical pieces, because that's a lot of what I excel at as well for my buyers is, hey, this is a 1950s home. Here's the three or four things that we need to look for to see are these already done versus we getting under contract and then you find out, oh, it's got galvanized water lines. Okay, that's going to cost an arm, and a regular, an arm and a leg to replumb the property. And now we're two weeks down the road. The interest rates have gone up 1% because that's been happening right now, which is crazy. And you just paid $800 for an inspection for a house you're not comfortable buying. Okay, so let's save all that. I can give you those details up front, but maybe I don't know that neighborhood as well. So, because all agents are going to have their areas of expertise and what they excel at. If they say, I am amazing at everything, I am absolutely fantastic at knowing 100% contract details, I am fantastic about knowing everything there is to know about property, I know every neighborhood like the back of my hand, um, oh, and if you want to know exactly how many minutes it takes to get from this part of town to this part of town, um, I can tell you that as well. I'm sure there is the unicorn out there, but... I would guess the, oh, and, and I have the time to help you and nobody else, <laughs> or I have more than enough time to service you. Um, and you work with me and not, you know, two or three or four other people or whatever. It's not possible. Not one person can be amazing at everything and do it all themselves. Right? So a lot of people will structure their businesses differently. And that's the type of clientele that they market towards that they tend to draw because that is their tribe. Our vibe draws our tribe. Right? So be sure when you're talking to agents and interviewing agents, you know what to ask for. And I've done a couple videos on interviewing agents, so I'll link to some of those up above and down below. Um, but when you're moving to an area and trying to find agents, have an idea that, okay, 
YouTube agents are great. I think that is a fantastic business source. I probably should have done that when I started YouTube, to be honest, because I started YouTube seven years ago. <laughs> and there are agents that started YouTube six months ago. They get a lot more business than I do from it. And but that's not why I do it. Like, yes, it's a business source. I love that the clients that come to me from YouTube are my type of client because they are the client that wants somebody that's very, very detailed, that explains a lot of the process. It's very knowledgeable. And a lot I've had people call me I've had clients that hired me based on videos about contract changes because they've been burned on that, right? So everybody has something that they're sensitive to that it's really, really important that they find an agent that caters to that niche and that understands that particular need. So, you know, when you're moving to an area, you know, definitely interview the agents that you're looking at their videos. Um, a lot of times those agents are now so busy because they get so many people calling them that they will have other people that help you and they run larger teams. That's fine too. Just be sure that you interview multiple agents and find someone that's a good fit for you um, versus just, you know, hey, I saw that person. They did a video on all these neighborhoods. Yeah, they probably know a lot of those neighborhoods really, really well because they did all that research and shot those videos. And they may or may not have the level of expertise you're looking for for the needs that you have. If you need somebody that can give you broad overviews of the area, then yes, that's a good agent. That's something I do for my reload clients as well. I call it a learning day. We check out different areas. I get a feel for what they do and don't like. And based on that, I'm like, okay, where do you work? Yes, you're going to like these neighborhoods, these neighborhoods, these neighborhoods based on what you have told me and the type of neighborhoods that those have a feel for within the limits of steering. <laughs> so I will put the link for above and down below about um, steering and what we are and are not allowed to do. So I can't say, hey, these are where these people live or these people don't or whatever. But I can say, here's the three or four grocery stores you should go to based on the areas you're telling me and based on the commute that you're looking for and based on your budget and based on the needs and the property that you're looking for. These neighborhoods would fit all of those buckets, by the way. And I'll usually do people like a shopping list or a drive by list. If they're in town for a weekend and we have a day to spend together the day before, I'm going to say, OK, here's some houses that you said you liked, you like the pictures online, go drive by this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, because I know that those are very different neighborhoods. And I know that you driving through that, you're going to say, oh, I like this one. I don't like this one. And based on that feedback, that's going to give me really good information to get you to the next level and, and get you into those areas that you may or may not like. So anyway, kind of went down a little rabbit hole. But definitely interview multiple agents. Look for the agent that is catering to the needs and the requirements and the level of expertise that you're really looking for, not just the person that says, oh, I've done a video tour with some B-roll video um, or some aerial video on every part of town or something like that, which is fine. They have a level, ex a level of expertise in certain things. Other agents have a level of expertise in other things. Make sure you find the person that's a good fit for you. So if you're buying or selling here in Denver and you would like to talk to me and see if I'm a good agent and have those needs and have that expertise to fit your needs, I would love to sit down and or have a phone call or a Zoom call and discuss those with you. I love my YouTube clients. <laughs> they tend to be really awesome people to work with. So I appreciate um, y'all going through and watching the videos and hopefully you're finding them helpful. That's why I do it. I don't get ad spend pay, at least not at this point. I haven't in seven years. That's not my goal. Um, YouTube puts ads on my videos just because they're like, oh, you get enough views. We're going to make the money if you're not. And I'm like, oh, thanks. OK, that wasn't the point, but whatever. Um, I want to help educate people. And if people think I'm a good fit for them, then call me. Great. It's also a really cheap and easy form of therapy for me. So. <laughs> because I like to talk. So that works too. So anyway, reach out to me. My contact information is on my website. The link for that is down below. Um, if you want someone similar to me in a different area or you want recommendations of agents to interview in other areas, maybe you're moving to a different city or something like that and you're trying to find how to find an agent in those areas, reach out to me. I have a great network of people. Ask other agents that you know for referrals in other areas. That's another great way to get other agents versus just going on Google. We love to refer you to people that we know, like, and trust in other areas. And if we don't have anybody on the list, we're happy to pre-screen those people and make some recommendations, okay? Because we want to make sure you have a good experience no matter where that is or who it's with. So thanks so much for the time and have a great day.